Now that we got our filter set up, we are just going to take a few minutes to make that filter look kind of pretty. So what we want to end up with is this. So when we click open filter, close filter, the filter closes and opens. We want to add this image right here and that's about it. So in this episode we are mainly going to be working with Vue.js, a little bit of CSS and HTML. First of all, let's just add that hero image uh, to our page. So I'm just going to copy it out. So it, it's a header tag with a class of main header. It's an image with a class of hero and we are just calling this hero.jpg image. And if we save this, refresh the page, we should get that image right here. Okay, next thing we need to do, we are going to first of all wrap this into a div with a class of filter bar and then this we are going to wrap in a div with a class of filter wrap okay let's see how that is looking right now save it and as you can see we get those stylings and so on. Remember all of the stylings are already written so this looks a little bit better right now except it is right here over everything and so on. So we don't want that. Now we are going to hide this and then we are going to add some buttons so that we can display uh, our filters when we want. So when we click the button, when we close the button, it will open up and close out. Our filters are in this div with the ID of filter wrap. So now we want to hide them. Uh, to do that, I can just do v if equals to show filter. So this show filter is the name of the data that I've given it. So if I save this, and refresh the page it should disappear because what I'm saying right here is if show filter is true or is not empty then show the filter uh, else don't show it so if I go to my app.js file and I don't even have show filter set up right here and just do show filter and set it to true and save this now our filter should appear and as you can see it's here right now but if I just set it to this so it's empty and refresh it now the filter is empty so this is how that works I'm just going to uh, actually set this to be false so the filter show filter is false so that it's a bit more readable now we want a way to open our filter since it's hidden right now. So what we want to do is we're just going to add this container div right here. And in that container div I'm just going to paste this in. So this is an uh, A tag. It has this V on click. This V on click uh, calls a method called open filter. It has some classes to make it look pretty and uh, we're just going to remove this for now and add it later now if I save this go to my page we should get that button right here but if I click it nothing happens nothing happens because we still don't have this open filter method so we are going to add it right now and we are going to add it uh, under this ready function so first we do methods methods and now we can create our methods so our method is called open filter and then we do a function and now uh, what we want to do is when somebody clicks on that link it fires up this method and that method sets this show filter to true instead of false 
So we just do this this dot set show filter true and that's it save this also save this right here and when we refresh the page if I click on it now the filter is open as you can see I still can't close it I can't close it because I don't have a close filter method so I'm just going to copy this out and I'm going to call a close filter close filter and then I'm going to set this to close filter and set this class of open to close because we want to have it uh, be red color for closing so save this and now of course we don't we still don't have this method close filter so I'm just going to copy out this method and call it close filter instead of open filter and just like we did with this one so when somebody clicks that button it should sh set show filter to false instead of true save it refresh it now we have two buttons right here so if I click open filter this opens the filter this one closes the filter now of course what we want to do next is hide those buttons uh, when some of the buttons are clicked so when I click open filter I want to hide it and instead of that show close filter button so that's easy enough what we want to do is I'm just going to add the if statement right here just like we did with this uh, filter wrap right here so v if and I'm going to call it filter btn open open and this one is going to be filter btn close okay so now I can go to my methods and uh, when somebody clicks open filter I can set filter btn open to false right and then I can set filter btn close to true right so when I go right here and first set my data so I'm going to have filter btn open set to true because we always want to show the open button when we load the page so that is going to be true but filter btn close is going to be false okay let's see what this does right now so I can, as you can see we don't have a close filter but we have an open filter so if I click it the filter turns up uh, the uh, open button disappears and we have we are left with close filter so if I click it the close filter will stay right here because we didn't do uh, the opposite thing in this function so when this function is fired we want to set the filter uh, to false we want to set the filter button open to true so inverse thing of what we are doing right here and then we want to set the filter button of close to false okay uh, did I save this yes okay now this should work open filter close filter open filter close filter so you can see how that works uh, there is one more thing left that we need to do and we have to make this transition look a little bit better and for this filter not to be here so we are going to do that right now now this filter wrap is appearing at the 
center of the screen uh, because we don't have set top value for it so it's a fixed div but it doesn't have a top value so if I would do something like style equals to top is zero and we refresh the page now it should be up top when we open it as you can see this works but uh, I don't want to do that because I want to add the transition to this filter so I'm going to do so this is a Vue.js function transition and the way transitions work I already have them defined in my CSS so you define them via CSS and I'm going to call this transition filter and now if we look at our transition.css uh, you write it you write them like this so you have this filter transition <coughs> you have filter enter and filter leave so this is the uh, beginning position of the filter and the ending position of the filter they are the same in this case so top minus 200 pixels and then you have this filter transition and it says transition all 0.5 seconds is and the top should be zero so what that is going to do is going to go from minus 200 pixels to zero pixels so uh, okay this should actually work now let me just show you if I refresh it and click open filter as you can see this works close filter this works so the way you write this CSS is you add the name that you defined right here so right here transition filter and then you add dash transition and you all all you have to have this filter transition and you have to have these enter and leave of course enter and leave can be different things if you want but in this case it makes sense uh, for the filter to go back to the position where it was before you can also do something like uh, we don't have to make it top we can make it I don't know uh, opacity so I can do opacity 0 and here I can do opacity 1 it will appear on the uh, middle of the screen again but never mind so we are just refresh this page and now when I click open filter as you can see it appears and then it disappears uh, we can make this last for I don't know two seconds so that you can see it better so if I refresh it right now and click it as you can see it slowly appears and then it slowly disappears so this is the way you do transition the transitions with Vue.js so I'm just going to delete this and this because I like it much better to come from the top so if I refresh the page we click open filter it comes up from top we click close filter it comes back so as you can see it's pretty easy to do those transitions and those V ifs and so on also I think we forgot something here uh, no we didn't okay I thought we forgot this filter buttons uh, to define them in the data but we didn't okay so that's it uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe to it. Don't forget everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Uh, also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you like. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.